Hi guys, Jennifer here. Welcome back to my channel. I wanted to share with you my finished project. It took me a little while to finish it, but I finally did and it turned out so pretty. I added quite a bit to the, the uh, envelope stack flipbook here uh, to finish up the decorating. So I'll show you, I think I can remember some things I added. I added this little flower here, and I think I'm gonna have to put a Velcro dot, but I don't have any with me at the moment, as uh, we are on vacation and we'll be traveling home soon. So I'm just using what I have here. So inside here, I made a little, just little booklet here that you can tuck into a pocket for a junk journal. And the papers that I use that are not the Sugar Cookie Christmas are from My Porch Prints. She had some shabby Christmas labels and background pages. And I use this really pretty trim. It's kind of like a vintage-y kind of trim, but it adds like a wintry feel to it. So I added that in this little piece of applique and lace that was in Doreen's kit. This beautiful chiffon and these really cute dies that I use from Frank Garcia's shop. I added some of the satin and crystals here. And then I'm not sure if I had this on here before, but Doreen had some cut out snowflakes and then I used some from the dies that I purchased from Frank Garcia. I made a little crunchy booklet from a glassing bag. I used one of the three by six or what is it, three by fours, I'm sorry. And then the, here's a label, some lace, the cheesecloth, and then some crunchy papers. Throw that in and then here we have a couple of the tickets from my porch prints. I printed on both sides. So these are super cute little tickets. And then on, on this page, I think I did show you that I had added some sequins, a little shaker there, one of the cut aparts here, some of the snowflakes that I need to glue in. And then on the inside of this, I made a little pocket and I was inspired by pink strawberries you're on YouTube. Add a little chipboard piece, some of the stickers from crepe paper, some more dye, and then this pretty trim was in the travel kit um, from Ooh La La, and then these little die cuts, and I made, I used uh, these letters to make the word joy, and then just a little journaling card inside so you can add that as a little pocket on the journal super fun and then in the next pocket here i just added this little clip that doreen had in her kit i just thought it was so cute it's just a little decoration and then this was also included she had some really fun trim snowy looking trim mesh and then this die cut and i used one of the cut aparts with some lace here and on the inside i made some of these little mini file folders this was inspired by septeria 18 and you can tuck these into journal pockets on this one i added this cute little insert here and just tucked it into the pocket. So I used the six by six papers and on this, 
And on this one, I used papers from My Porch Prints. Aren't they pretty? Pink with the white poinsettias. So, so pretty. Okay, and then on this pocket, I made, forgot what I made. <laughs> I, I, um, I covered the inside of this one because it was the tea dyed envelope and it just needed something else. I also tore this and I'm going to probably put a little embellishment there just to kind of cover that up. I was also thinking maybe I could put like a pocket and then cover this, and, but then I covered it so I didn't want to. So maybe just like a little die cut or um, a little something here, a label or something. I'll have to figure that out. But on this one, I just did a little tuck spot. This was a die cut Doreen included, as well as this. And then this was from the die cut collection from Sugar Cookie. Some flowers here. Here's a little chipboard piece, some die cuts, and then some lace trim, and some more die cuts that were included in Doreen's kit. I made a large matchbook. You can use this in a journal, you know, just kind of clip it to the page. And I don't know, it's just kind of fun. Doreen helped me with that idea because I was like, what do I put in these? <laughs> I needed some encouragement. So thank you, Doreen. I wrapped some little hemp um, trim there with these die cuts. Then I used um, the pretty laces that Doreen and fabric that Doreen included. And then I added this little pom-pom trim for my stash. And inside I used all the papers that Doreen had included as well as some of my coffee dyed lace papers and made a little matchbook notebook. So that was super fun. Country paper and avocado dyed. So you got lots of journaling spots or note taking spots for your journal. I just thought that was fun. So you can fit quite a bit in these pockets for a journal. And then here I did this uh, tag from, well, it's kind of like a tag, but it's made from an envelope. This was Patricia Vermontis idea. She had this on her channel and I thought I would make one for this project. Here's a little die cut and piece of lace from Doreen's kit. And I put a couple of the labels from my porch prints in there. Die cut suite on here. And these background pages are all from my porch prints. Super pretty, I love that. And I thought it went well with this collection. Um, here's um, another, I made a tag with that paper. So gorgeous. And then I sewed around it, and here's a guest check that I can decorate. I just collaged the back for journaling, and a journaling card here. And that fits in that little pocket. And this was just a, um, a long envelope, and I folded it up to make a pocket. So I didn't have my tab punch, but I'm gonna add a tab to this card here when I get back home. Here's another one of the pretty background pages from my porch prints, and I sewed around that. So that goes back in there. Now you can glue this to a journaling page or you can clip it in. So um, then on this, I just did a little bit of decorating on here just to peek out the side. Use one of the chipboard pieces here and, and a snowflake die with one of the jemmies and then another flower with some fabric that Doreen had in it. Clip, I mean a die cut and then this beautiful little piece was also in the kit little bits 
And I added this pretty dangle that Doreen made. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, can you see it? So cute. Thought it went really well with this. So that's my envelope stack flip book with all of the goodies inside. I've already been seeing um, several people make these after I made mine. So thanks for sharing with me on Instagram and letting me know that you really liked it. All right, guys, I'll talk to you real soon. Thanks for stopping by. Bye for now.